much uh, productivity these windmills have. Um, there's not a whole lot of wind going on right now, as you can see by the tree uh, behind the windmills. That's why I like this one shot here. Um, we've got like uh, between 5 and 10 miles an hour wind this morning is all. It's just a little breezy. Uh, as you can see, the wind is coming from the broad side of the roof. Uh, and this is one of the good things about a rooftop turbine is, is uh, in that case, the wind is actually concentrated uh, over the peak of the roof like it would be a spoiler of a, of a car. Um, so you get a concentration effect of the wind being focused into the turbines up over the roof. And uh, so even though there's not much uh, wind right now today, uh, the turbines are very productive, as you can see. Um, the other thing I'm going to show you is that uh, how quiet they are. Uh, I'm going to stop talking. You'll notice that you can hear all the birds. You can hear the leaves rattling, rustling in the trees. You can hear cars driving down the road. So virtually every sound out in the yard at this time is louder than the windmills. The windmills are really uh, fairly silent. Um, when they get cranking, they do make a, a fan sound. It's not as loud as a house fan, but I mean, they do make a sound, but it's not uh, louder than the other sounds out in the yard. Uh, the uh, turbines and mounts are uh, engineered for 130 miles an hour wind speed. So uh, they're very stable and durable. Uh, as you can see, it, we got uh, quarter inch steel. Uh, the roof's actually being reinforced by what's put on it. Uh, and, you know, that makes the uh, system very strong, durable. It'll hold up to uh, heavy winds. the latest uh, invention in home electricity. The homeowner can buy these kits online from windenergy7.com. A local electrician can install them. These kits uh, are installed with uh, uh, no need for a building permit in most uh, municipalities. Uh, electrician or homeowner can pull a simple electric permit. It's actually a uh, home wind appliance. the windmills handle the turbulence there on the roof. You can see the tails uh, will turn and uh, as you can see the winds blowing a little bit different angles. Uh, even between those turbines they'll face a little bit different angles to catch the wind that's coming right across that part of the roof. And uh, they just turn uh, into the strongest part of the wind by use of the tail. Uh, unlike other turbines we don't have any uh, mechanical furling which tends to break. Uh, there's uh, very few uh, moving parts. You actually have a two moving part wind turbine. Um, some of the wind turbines have uh, uh, parts in the tail and they'll actually, uh, what they call angle furling, and different uh, devices which are mechanical uh, to uh, keep the windmill from over speeding. And uh, our, our device has uh, electromagnetic braking which is the safest uh, most reliable method because of the uh, lack of wear. Uh, by using magnetics we have no friction in our braking and speed limiting. Uh, the turbine simply uses electronics and the, and the magnets to slow itself down so that it protects itself in the wind. Um, other people are using um, 
different methods such as turning the turbine sideways into the wind or uh, there's some uh, strange ones where the turbine actually tilts back and, and flops around in the wind to keep itself from over speeding. Um, that's just, you know, more moving parts in the turbine that, that can break down uh, or wear. And if you look in the documentation of the competing turbines that have that kind of system, you'll notice they'll have uh, mention of upgraded bushings and, and so forth, meaning that they've had to redesign those parts because of failures, because of wear. Um, they've had to redesign those types of uh, speed limiting. Um, so our turbine uses brakes in a high wind uh, by, the, by use of electromagnetic braking, sends a signal back up the wire, uses the magnets to, to slow the thing down to keep it from overspeeding and, uh, and sustaining any kind of damage in a high wind. The uh, internals are stainless steel, uh, precision machined. The uh, turbine's a very durable, well-tested uh, system.